All right, today is an exciting day because DJI, yes, the drone maker, they just announced a brand new e-bike. And it's not just an e-bike, there is an e-bike, it's called the Amflow. I think it's like a partnership with an e-bike company, but they're also coming out with an e-bike conversion kit, or I think they're calling it a, a drive system, that I believe you can put on any bike once that comes out. Right now, we don't have that much information, and most of what we have is on the Amflow pre-built system. But the expectation here is that eventually they're gonna come out with just the drive system parts, so the motor, the battery, and it might be a slightly different version that's generic, where right? you can fit on basically any bike. And that, in particular, is what I'm very excited for. Not necessarily the, the pre-built bike that they're selling currently. And that's because this pre-built bike option, the Amflow, it's an EMTB, which is a category I like. My first ever bike that I built was a home-built electric mountain bike. But the problem with this category is that it tends to be very expensive. Mountain bikes in general, just regular mountain bikes, quality one can be like five, eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars. And unfortunately, this is the kind of bike DJI is going with. And thus the price tag here for the Amflow bike, it's like $7,500 base. So this is a high-end bike. It's not designed for everybody. I think the components, once you can buy just a drive system, that's gonna be a way more compelling option for a lot of people that's gonna directly compete with names like Bosch and Bafang. After all, it does have very similar specifications to those motors, and hopefully the, the price tag of just these components is also in line with these other uh, competitors. But before diving too deeply into these specifications and the value proposition here, I really want to address why DJI as a company came out with uh, an e-bike kit. It seems like a very random product for this company. But if you think about it for 30 seconds, it becomes very obvious why they did this. So DJI technically already makes EVs, electric vehicles, in the form of their drones. Most people are familiar with their consumer drones used in videography, but DJI also makes much larger drones that can deliver packages that weigh uh, quite a bit. And a drone ultimately has the same components as an e-bike, a controller, battery, and multiple motors. So a drone is essentially a micro EV, which is the same general category as electric bikes. It's just two different ends of that category. It's also worth mentioning that DJI just recently released uh, a power station. So they're also in the battery game. They know how to source, produce, manufacture batteries. Another key component of both drones and electric bikes. And I also think you have to mention that the, the third key factor here is that there's potentially going to be a ban of DJI drones in America. And by expanding their product line to both bikes, the battery, power station, as previously mentioned, uh, that's a way to, to potentially hedge against this future legislation. So to me, that's why DJI is making an e-bike. They already have expertise in the field with batteries, electric motors, and diversifying their product line makes a lot of sense right now. Okay, but taking a direct look at the this conversion kit, drive system, whatever you want to call it. Interestingly, this is a mid-drive configuration, which is often viewed as more premium than more generic hub motors. They're also better for electric mountain bikes where you want to maintain the, the pedal ability of a bike, not just make it into a motorcycle. And thus the motor isn't super powerful, although it's definitely comparable to the other names in the field, like Bosch, the Fang. Uh, this has a peak power of 1,000 watts with 120 newton meters of torque. So that's a pretty good torque figure, and overall I'm, I'm pleased with the, the power level of this motor. It's certainly not going to compete with uh, a Suron or, you know, electric dirt bikes, but a 1,000 watt mid-drive motor, that'll give any Bosch or Fang motor uh, a, a good run for their money. The, the battery here, is that they're touting it as very slim, compact, lightweight, given its capacity, which comes in at 800 watt hours. I think they also have a smaller battery, 600 watt hours. And if I had to guess, when you go to eventually purchase this kit, that's gonna be the cheaper, more affordable option. Unfortunately, they don't have any mention on the voltage of the battery. 
So that's kind of unfortunate. I would have loved to see them opt for like a 72 volt battery. But then aside from the battery, we have a display that's easily the best e-bike display I've ever seen so far. It's OLED touchscreen. I think it's the only touchscreen e-bike display so far. And this edge in technology is the key selling point of this DJI product, in my opinion. Compared to Bosch, Bafang, this brings with it a lot of high-tech features that only DJI can really bring to the table. So on top of this just epic display, there's also an integrated phone app. We have limited information on this app, but based off of the few images I've seen so far, it appears to be a very comprehensive app that actually gives you useful information. And if I had to guess, it's probably gonna be similar to apps they have for other products, including their drones. And DJI dominates the drone marketplace for a reason. They make excellent products with excellent software. And hopefully that translates over to this new product as well. So to summarize, DJI is getting into the e-bike market with both a pre-built premium electric mountain bike, the Amflow, but also at some point in the future, you can buy just the, the conversion kit, the drive system, however you want to classify it. And I think that's what's really exciting here. It should directly compete with legacy names like Bosch, Bafang, based off of the spec sheet, a peak power of 1,000 watts, 120 new meters of torque. It should be right up there with the best that these companies have to offer. Plus added technology features like that beautiful OLED touchscreen display, a mobile phone app that's not going to be garbage. Because again, DJI is bringing over their expertise from other EVs such as drones, their knowledge of batteries, via their power station. And it's gonna give them a very strong head start in the e-bike space. So even though this is their first product, I'm expecting it to be very good. Hopefully the price tag for just this drivetrain is in line with the competition. If I had to put a number on it, I think if it's between like a thousand and twelve hundred dollars, that would be competitive. But let us know your thoughts on this product in the comments below. I'll leave uh, the official DJI page linked below the video if you guys wanna check it out. If you're still watching and enjoying, I appreciate a like before you go, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.